Today we're going to be doing a review on one of Leatherman's most iconic multi-tools, the Leatherman Wave. And this particular one has been upgraded in their recent update and called the Leatherman Wave Plus. Hey guys, welcome back to the Gears and Tool channel. If this is your first time to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see future videos just like this one. Today we're unboxing and reviewing the Leatherman Wave Plus, one of Leatherman's most iconic multi-tools. And uh, this way you can see what you get when you actually buy one of these, the different tools and features that are on the Wave, which is their best selling model. And I'm gonna throw a couple things at you at the end so you can think about um, why this multi-tool may or may not be the correct tool for you. As we go through this, I'm gonna show you some other multi-tools that compare to the Wave, and I'll include links to all of them below. So if you're interested in one of them, you can check it out at the link below. Let's go ahead and unbox the Leatherman Wave Plus. And to do that, we're going to use the old or original Leatherman Wave. Seems fitting. Looks like we got uh, a little tape right here. And it slides right out. Move the knife out of the way. Now the reason I bought this Leatherman Wave Plus is I just enjoyed the Leatherman Wave so much I thought it'd be kind of fun to get a newer one. I've had my Leatherman Wave since, oh, probably about 2010. It's held up great, but uh, you know, it's still a 10 year old tool. All right, so um, right off the bat, you get kind of this cover page with uh, some instructions on the bottom. Um, we're not gonna read those, we're just gonna dive right in because that's how I roll. You get a sheath included, a nylon sheath. And oh, okay, this is a snap button on there instead of the um, kind of Velcro. I, I like that a lot actually. I always kind of thought the sound of the Velcro was kind of like, for me at least, nails on chalkboard. Um, a nice and slim sheath actually. Um, yeah, I like that actually. That's probably one of the better sheaths I've seen on some of my Leatherman. Some of them get really big and bulky, so that's, that's a nice size. And then the wave itself, and look at that. So we opted for the two-tone, which I could not actually find on Leatherman's website. I got this off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. But that uh, two-tone looks really nice. So again, I couldn't find a two-tone on Leatherman's website. I think it's a special edition of some kind, um, but I'll provide a link. So let's go ahead and take a little closer look at this and what makes every Leatherman a Leatherman, the pliers. And these are nice needle nose pliers. And as you can see with the Leatherman Wave Plus Edition, they've introduced the hardened wire cutters that are removable. So if you really reap on these or mess them up somehow, you can remove those wire cutters and you're not gonna have to buy whole new tool. You might just have to spend uh, the $15, $10 to um, buy the new hardened wire cutter. So that was a really good idea. Leatherman knows how to listen to their customers and continue to improve their products. One of the reasons I love Leatherman. Also just in hand, it feels really good. You can just tell the fit and finish is just top notch. There's no slap, there's no wiggle. Everything feels very intentional, smooth, but tight. So the wire cutters are a must have on the Leatherman, along with, you know, obviously needle nose pliers, and then the hard wire cutters on the inside there. Let's go ahead and close it back up and look at what makes the Leatherman Wave such a special tool. The Wave is, to my knowledge, the first Leatherman where the outside knives were accessible with one hand. And uh, this is a 420HC steel, which is a good all round, easy to sharpen, steel, knife steel. Um, I think it's gonna serve most people quite well. So um, again, one-handed deployment, opens right up. This tool is a little stiff since I literally just took it out of the box for you guys. I've never held this tool before. And it feels just like the original Wave. And that black knife blade there looks just beautiful on that nice silver handle. The nice shape you know, exactly what you would come to expect from a Leatherman. And then on the other side of the handle from the knife blade is classic Leatherman file. This is the side use on wood. Notice it's not covered in black oxide. That's to give it a nice aggressive edge. So you'll have um, quick jobs. 
Now on this side, it's a diamond file for harder metals and things like that. So super nice that Leatherman puts this in. I find it handy for touching up uh, blades out in the field, things like uh, dull knife blades, or maybe you have a notch in something like your ax or a batoning knife. Um, it's a quick and dirty way to kind of clean up an edge and continue on until you can get your knife or other edge properly sharpened. So that's it for that side of the handle. Let's flip the knife over. And you'll see that this knife blade has some jimping on the top. And that's how you know it's the serrated edge blade. Again, 420 HC steel and just the same classic design that Leatherman had on their original wave. So super good knife. I use this thing all the time for cutting things like paracord, rope, um, things that having the extra serrations on it really helps it just tear through the material you're working with. On the other side, you have the saw. And I used to use the saw on the Victorian Knox quite a bit. And then when I got my first Leatherman, and I saw the saw, I was just like, oh my God, this is such a sharp saw. It just looks wicked, super sharp and aggressive, and it just tears through any kind of wood that you might be working with. So super good saw by Leatherman, nice work. And I'm glad they didn't do one of the adapters that they use on some of their other tools because I feel like you lose some cutting area right here when they have an adapter for switching the saw out. So I like it, it's a plain knife blade style saw where it just folds out and it's ready for use. So now that we've seen the features on the outside, let's open this thing up and take a look at some of the tools on the inside. So on this side, we have a couple different tools. First up, it's the mini screwdriver bit holder. Um, I, I like to call it the uh, eyeglass set. So if you have glasses um, or you need to do some finer, delicate work, uh, that's what that's for. I really think it's for glasses. I can't really think of anything else. And it fits sunglasses and stuff like that perfectly. So that's the same. Then we have the uh, medium screwdriver head, as Leatherman calls it. I use it mostly as a pry for things like uh, paint cans, uh, maybe prying loose um, stuck lids, stuff like that. Kind of a good thing to use versus your knife blade so you don't damage it. And uh, I've bent these before and um, they're, they're pretty rugged. It takes quite a bit of work to tweak them. So in this handle, we also have these scissors. They're a little stiff to get out, but like I said, this box literally never used this tool before. I just opened it up. So things are still a little stiff. You're gonna to wanna to work them in just a little bit, but this is your set of scissors that you can unfold. There it goes. Spring loaded. They work great. Again, I use these things for like cutting paracord, fabrics, uh, maybe just cleaning up a fingernail uh, that you've broken out working outside. Um, super useful to have a small pair of scissors when you're doing more delicate work that maybe isn't best suited for a knife. So super useful. I use the scissors on my old wave quite a bit. I'm excited that this one also has a pair of scissors. Okay, let's see what the other side of this knife has to offer. There's a bit driver holder, a little bit bigger than the eyeglasses version on the other side of the knife. And you can get uh, bit kits for these multi-tools to put in the sheath so you can have other options other than just the Phillips and flathead that come with it. But um, I, I think the Phillips on this is a pretty good sized one. It works in a lot of different things I've used it for in the past. So i um, glad that's there. And then also in this handle, the all important can opener slash bottle opener. Um, I know that a lot of people will say, hey, it's a can opener. I'll be honest, I use this mainly for opening bottles. It's also super sharp, so you can uh, do some kind of scratching, stuff like that. And then here in this kind of bottom, if you can see that, there's kind of a, a diamond notch in the can opener, and that's for stripping wires. It works really good. You can strip wires with your knife blade and other parts of this tool, but it's nice that there's a dedicated spot that's not gonna damage your higher end features on this multi-tool. Another feature that this multi-tool has is a built-in ruler in the handle. So you just kind of open it up like that and you can just set it down. And you can see the little indicators on the ridge of the handle there. You can use it for measuring very roughly 
uh, different things. If you've left your tape measure in your truck or something and you just need to do, get a quick idea of how long something is or how wide a gap is. So there is a ruler in the handle to let them in. Um, there's no black markings or anything, so it's a little hard to read. I would really consider this as, you know, in a pinch, I don't want to run back to the truck type of tool, uh, feature. Something to consider when you're purchasing a Leatherman multi-tool or any other multi-tool knife for that matter is if you go for the black oxide when it's new out of the box, it is going to leave some black discoloration on your fingertips or clothing if you have um, it rubbing at your pant leg or something like that. So I would definitely recommend uh, wiping these tools down with like a silicone rag or um, even using a little gun oil and um, a rag just to kind of wipe it down really quick, get all the loose black oxide off the tool. Uh, once you get all the loose particulate off, it's not an issue anymore. Um, that black oxide is a very durable finish, but right out of the box, it does need just a little bit of cleanup if um, discoloration on your fingers or clothing, stuff like that is a concern to you. For a lot of people, it might not be a concern, but something to think about. Some of you sharp-eyed viewers may have noticed the Letterman Wave that I used to open up this box it has a pocket clip on it. Now the pocket clip does not come with the Letterman Wave Plus, but for about $10, $10-$15 you can certainly get one. And it pops right out of the bottom of the handle like that. And is a feature I would definitely recommend getting. Um, this tool weighs about 8.4 ounces and is a little heavy in the bottom of your pocket. So getting a pocket clip like this, so it clips on the side of your pocket, really makes it a lot easier to carry and it won't be banging around in the bottom of your pocket hitting your leg. So highly recommended if you're not gonna be using the sheath that came with the Letterman, definitely pick up one of those pocket clips for 10 or $15. I'll put a link in the description below. It'll make carrying this every day a lot easier. And if you carry it every day, that means it's gonna be handy for when you actually need it. While we're on the topic of pocket clips, I really like the pocket clips that Leatherman puts on their multi-tools. Um, while it comes right off, if you don't want the extra width to the tool, it does function really well. I'll show you with this rag. It sits really deep in the pocket. It's not poking out. You don't have to worry about it you know, falling over the top of your pocket. It sits and rides super deep in your pocket and kind of hugs it right against your leg. So the design on the pocket clip with the, all these Letterman tools, they all use the same one, is top notch. So I would highly recommend it if you're not gonna just leave it in the sheath or in your toolbox or something like that. Definitely look at getting one of those pocket clips. On the topic of pocket clips and carrying sheaths, how's the Letterman fit in its sheath? Nice and compact sheath. I actually like this one quite a bit. Oh yeah, and it slips right in. It's not overly tight. I've seen multi-tools where the sheaths are super tight and it's hard to get the multi-tool in and out. This one is snug as in doesn't feel like it's just gonna fall out, but it comes right out when you reach for it. So good job Leatherman on this sheath. I uh, haven't actually seen one of their newer sheaths and I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a lot nicer than the older bulkier ones they used to have with um, Velcro and just a lot of excess bulk on the sheath. So, I, I really like this new sheath that Leatherman is shipping with their products. Okay, so what's my takeaway? Well, first and foremost, this multi-tool is, is well-rounded, well-balanced. It's a good weight. It's not overly expensive. It's $90, which is, a um, for what you're getting, a pretty good deal. And it's just the fit and finish is top-notch. Everything is tight, but it, it's smooth, you know, so it's not like it's stuck. But it's nice and tight. It doesn't have a bunch of wiggle and rattle to it. It's just a well-made multi-tool, which is what Leatherman is known for, which is why they're the best-selling multi-tool maker out there. And this Leatherman Wave, the reason it's the best-selling multi-tool that they sell, it's just, it's just a very well-thought-out, clean design that just works really well. So I would definitely highly recommend this multi-tool for most people. But there's a couple things you might want to think about. If you're a super heavy user, not like drugs, but if you're a super heavy user of multi-tools, you may want to consider a heavier duty multi-tool than this Letterman Wave. Maybe something like the Letterman Surge, which is basically a clone of the Letterman Wave, but about 50% heavier, and as you can see, is visibly bigger than the Letterman Wave. And this has benefits in a couple different ways. Uh, first, there's just more real estate for your hand to work with, which means you can exert more force or energy into whatever you're working on. And also it's just, 
going to be a little bit heavier duty tool in general. I know that Leatherman has a 25 year warranty on their products, but you know, that's a hassle. You want to buy the right tool for the job that's comfortable to use. So the Leatherman Surge or something like the Super Tool 300 might be a little bit better fit if you're a super heavy duty user. You're bending sheet metal all the time. You're dropping it from super high heights, you know, things like that. Um, just something to think about. I still would recommend the Leatherman Wave for everybody, but if you're a super heavy duty user, you might want to pick up another multi-tool such as the Leatherman Surge or Super Tool 300. Another reason the Leatherman Wave might not be right for you is if you just need the premium of everything. You want the best of the best. And that's where something like the Leatherman Charge TTI might come in handy. And now this is a little bit older one, doesn't have the removable wire cutters like the new ones, but the Leatherman Charge TTI if you want the top grade premium quality materials might be the right fit for you. It's got the S30V steel, the 154CM on the serrated edge. It's got the titanium scales. It's really the same tool with just higher quality materials, which I personally think is probably not necessary. I think the materials and use that I've gotten out of my previous wave have just stood up really well. But that is one reason you may want to consider a different multi-tool than the Letterman Wave. I think the Letterman Wave is a great balance between price, weight, and function. But depending on who you are and what your use case is, you may want to consider the Letterman Charge if you want the higher quality materials. Another reason the Letterman Wave may not be the right fit for you is if you have a very specific use case or a feature that you find yourself needing frequently. Leatherman makes a couple other tools such as the Leatherman Signal that has a piece of flint on the back or say like the Leatherman MUT, M-U-T, which is their kind of a tactical, you know, gun tool. So something to keep in mind, I think the Leatherman Wave for 99% of people is going to be the correct tool, maybe 95% of the people. But there are some other options out there that you should definitely consider if you have uh, a very specific use case, say being outside a lot, maybe the signal will make sense for a hiker, or maybe something like the Letterman Mutt for the avid shooter or uh, law enforcement type person. So those are kind of three reasons I think you might go with another Letterman product. It's really not any fault of the Wave Plus itself. It's just, it fills a pretty general use case and there are some more specific or larger tools for other use cases that um, different people might find themselves at or at different times. Maybe you carry this as your EDC multi-tool and then when you go to the shooting range you take a Leatherman Mutt or you're on your job site at work and you need the larger Leatherman Surge or Super Tool 300. So just want to frame that. Make sure the Leatherman Wave is going to fit your specific use case and only you can answer that. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing and review of the Leatherman Wave Plus. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos such as the Leatherman Surge versus the Leatherman Wave or my playlist where I review all the multi-tools that I showed you today. Cheers.